Hello there everyone, I'm your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Black Mesa. And now we should be done with all the aliens in that room. I think we um, killed most of them in the previous installment of this very, very great Let's Play that I believe no one else but myself thinks is a very, very great Let's Play and not even I myself think that it's particularly good, so let's disregard that. Whatever. Maybe we should look for a way to heal ourselves, but I also do hear a Vortigon somewhere in here, which sort of worries me. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. So, uh, this is gonna be fun, right? Right. So, who is that punk that shot us? I don't know, man. Let's get out the hand cannon, which doesn't have a lot of ammunition, so let's get instead out the revolver and see where that Vortigon is. Oh, up there. Thought so. Not anymore. Should have seen him earlier, but, well, I didn't. So, what can I say? Anything in there? Yeah, there was a health kit in there. I'm very glad about that, and that door is getting old. By which I mean annoying. By which I mean, you know what I mean. Open up. Nothing in these crates, nothing in there either. Okay. But it's still... That's better! Now, if we can find some suit power-ups, I'd be a happy camper. Even though I have no idea where exactly that saying comes from, being a happy camper. I don't know, are campers known for their for their happiness? I don't know, and I don't think it's a question that is important enough to ask ourselves. So do we have to go down there? Well, it sure is worth trying. Yep. Okay. Let's see. We could dive down there. But is it worth it? Really it doesn't look like it. So there is absolutely nothing. That's good to know. There is... A switch. We can turn it on. What happens then? Ah, that gate opens up. And I guess it's pretty safe to assume that we have to go through here... Well, no, apparently not. Or do we? I don't know. I have no idea what just happened. Are we somewhere else now? I don't know. Like. I don't know, man. Let's try this again. But I don't think we can get through here. Nope. Obviously not. So let's forget about that. And let's go back out again. Because I am pretty sure there is another switch somewhere in this room that we have to press. At least that would be logical. Okay. So up we go again, there's a barnacle he, I hope, is not going to eat us. But no, no, he didn't, so no need to worry about him. <laughs> wouldn't it Wouldn't it have been funny if I fell down there? No, it wouldn't have been funny, it would have been terribly annoying. <laughs> but it would have been exactly the kind of thing that would happen to me. Going up here, maybe? Maybe. And going over there. Because why not? Anything here. Well, it looks like there's something here, but we can't use it. Alrighty. But we can go up here, and I didn't see that earlier. 
So there is a dead Vortigaunt. And as I like to say, only a dead Vortigaunt is a good Vortigaunt. But I don't think we can get somewhere from here. So maybe we have to look for another way. Huh. So, do we have to cut here? And yeah, before you ask, I will try this place again and again until I get through here, I guess. I don't know, something seems to be pushing us back. But then... Uh, oh yes, this does work. It just didn't look like we were actually moving in anywhere. Loading scene. And now loading screens are back to the length I'm used to. Joy. Anything up here, there's a valve. But we can't use it, so... Also, this door doesn't open. So we have to go into that place that says no access radiation hazard. That sure sounds encouraging. So let's see about that. It doesn't look too bad yet. But it's not like we want to take any risks, right? So let's go out here. Okay. Yeah, looks like some sort of nuclear like power station. So this place is probably a dangerous place. But the same could be said about all places in this game. So that's not not really anything that makes it special, right? Let's uh eye protection required. Rain operating in this area. We're hearing protection. Well, seeing how we don't have either of these things, I can just assume that we are really safe here. But not from aliens. Because you are never safe from aliens. That's something I had to learn the hard way, I mean. Just, uh, just take my word for it. No, these are just Vortigons. We can just kind of kill them all and nothing bad is going to happen to us. Hey, where did you come from? Yeah, these guys are pushovers. But we still shouldn't underestimate them, seeing how a few of them actually managed to kill us. Which, okay, maybe due to our... our... well, no. Due to my inability to play this game properly. But that's beside the point. Suit power, yeah. That's pretty low, isn't it? But we sh still should be able to survive pretty well. At least if we are not running out of ammunition, which would be terrible. <laughs> but seeing how there is even more of it, even though not for the shotgun, I think... Well, it could have been a bit there. Yet still, um, yeah, turn it on. And now something good is gonna happen. I don't know, that noise hardly ever means anything good. But I will let this game surprise me. Yeah, haven't you already seen something like this a bit earlier on in the game? And are these rays instant death? That's a question I have to ask myself. Die. No, really die. And let me get up here and then maybe, just, just maybe, get to safety. Well, not if I'm playing like that. But it still should be doable. Die. Yeah, not blindly... <laughs> you know what I just wanted to say, not blindly running through there. While doing exactly that. Ain't I good at this game. But yeah, if we duck, it looks like we're saver. Die. 
uh, even more of them, of course. But yeah, no reason to worry about Vortigons. And we should be able to get safely... I'm totally gonna take that damage. Why would I care? Yeah, but now we are not particularly well off, aren't we? Oh, why are you giving me problems? See? See? Now you ran into that laser. That is the, uh, like, punishment for your insolence. So, where am I safe? Well, right now I'm pretty safe here. And I can also pretty safely go over there. And this is gonna be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, not like that. So this is a matter of timing. I'm okay with that, I guess. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. No reason to worry. You know, I'm kind of surprised that we didn't die more often there. That may just mean that I'm getting better at this game. But nah, that's absurd. So where to go? Up there or into that door? Well, apparently in there, seeing how that just seems to be a bonus room. What's that thing? No, really, what is that thing? A bullet of some kind? I don't know. So we did manage to heal ourselves at least a little bit. But not much more than just a little bit, basically. And up here. Can we smash that crate using our crowbar? Nope, and if we can't smash it using our crowbar, we can't smash it any other way either. And we really don't have to gain anything from getting over there, don't we? So let's go on into the other room. I mean, you may argue that one single health pack is not a whole lot to hide in a bonus room. But there is no reason in complaining, right? So let's go up. Yeah... I think I'd prefer to use the shotgun here. Emergency exit. Or do we have to go over there? By which I mean over, over, over there. I said over there. Well, we, apparently we can't jump over there. But we can go over there, so that doesn't matter anyway. And once again we have various different ways to go. Anything here? No. Okay, hey the security guard, we are going to get to you. Anything here? Yep, looks like another bonus room. Oh, hell yeah! But, anything else? Uh, nope. Uh, nope again. And that should be all the risk to this place. Or maybe not, maybe not. But it doesn't look like there's anything down here either. Nope, I guess. So that place is empty. And hey, will you look at that green energy ball or whatever it's supposed to be up there? What happens if we... Yeah, let, let's just try. Nothing. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. So let's meet up with that security guard there. I guess. Hello. How are you? A zoo. Well, I always enjoy to go to the zoo and see, like, elephants and stuff. No, not really. I don't quite enjoy going to the zoo. I mean, you know, I don't think animals are that interesting by themselves, at least not if they are, like, basically just stuffed in a cage, 
right? In these circumstances, they're just not interesting to watch. But then I don't go to the zoo a whole lot. I mean, the last time I was, it was with my younger sisters who are uh, nine years old now and who obviously enjoy such things. And I have no idea why I'm talking about this. Even though chances are that you don't care, like, at all. Die. You too. These guys. They're unfucking believable. Well, did you hear that? That was my Christopher Walken impression. It's not very good, but... Well, basically, that's it. It's not very good. No. <laughs> Alright, so nothing there. Nothing in there either, which I find surprising, because why would you just put a room there, even though... Well, I guess atmosphere. That one's closed. That one's not. But is it worth coming in here? And should we come in here right now? Or would that be a mistake? I don't know, but I will just do it anyway. Without thinking too much about it. Down here? Nah. Nah, not really, but what's with these green energy balls? And what's that other stuff down there? And what's an even better question, can we get down there? Looks almost like we can. If we are going about this... Yeah, no, I thought you could could get through here, but apparently that's not the case. Not on the other side either, huh? Nope. So we have to forget about that apparently. Well, what a shame. Anything down here? Another energy ball. This time it's a uh, orange one. Yeah! What's up with these? To be, to be honest, I have no idea. I mean, there has got to be something, but... Nah, no, I couldn't tell you what. So we have to go back out again. And even though I believe that I'm missing something, I have... Okay, now we're going to find out. Can't use, huh? Oh wow, that's pretty disappointing. I thought they were like portals or something. Like if you uh, go through one green energy ball, you come out at another one or something like that. I mean, this is the teleportation lab, wasn't it? Isn't it? I mean, that's what the one scientist said, right? But it looks like we can't use it to teleport ourselves anywhere. Or we can! Okay. But it looks like they only work one way. So you enter into the orange ones and you come out at the green ones or something like that. Good to know. So by that logic, we had to enter in that one to come out at But we can't get here either. Right? You know what? Just forget about this place. However it may be, there is most likely nothing we can do here. I'm probably not gonna find out. It's not that important anyway. I mean, we do have basically full health, or at least, you know, 86% health. And even though not a lot of it, a bit of suit power. So we shouldn't be afraid to not be afraid, basically. Die. 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 See, I mean, 
It's not like it was that bad, right? Oh, you were, you were just trying to sneak up on me. Dude, that guy. What a... Bad, bad world you got. Anything in here? Uh, looks like a jumping puzzle. These are always fun, right? No. You know what? First, let's look the other way. Let's use that elevator. That elevator looks a lot safer. What? 247. Are we supposed to remember that? I mean, is that like a code for something? Well... We are going to find out eventually. But you know what? Eventually is not gonna be today. Because for today I believe I am going to stop recording. So that being said, I am your German snob and this is Let's Play Black Mesa. And I'm going to be seeing you again tomorrow. So, uh, goodbye.